Hello everyone, this is Ron Zhong. We have sent out the early bird orders last week and now we have already got some backers assembled nibble. So today I'm going to show you how to config the wires when you connect them and how to set up the software to make the first move. First, let's take a look at the configurations of wires. This is just my opinion about how to best organize them and you may find some better solutions. This is the ultrasound sensor and it has four pins on the bottom of the head. It's connected by four wires and go to the extra AD pins here. So it's using three digital pins and one ground. And the wire from the silver wire from the shank goes through the slot here. Go to back, go to the back of the tie enter the slot on the tie, go to front, and then go back into the slot on the shoulder, and then plug, plugged onto the correct PWM uh, part. Notice that the wires are arranged symmetrically. and the infrared receiver is designed to have a very long pin leg pin legs so it can be bent to the best orientation to receive the signal also for the FTDI um, female socket it also has a very long has very long legs so it can be bent to the direction different directions because in different configurations for example if you have a Raspberry Pi on top you will not be able to access the part from this direction it should be bent to the belly and you plug the FTDI uploader here Let's take another look. And for the battery holder, it has a rotatable metal bar here. It acts as a switch. You need to bend it to the right angle so that when you click, when you close it, it won't be pointing out and affect the movement of this servo. See, and the batteries. Pay attention to the coloring of these wires. The red is positive, and should go to the left. If you look at it in this way, it should go into the left socket. Oh, okay, I already turned this on. because I have already calibrated nibble so it's behaving normally but if you haven't calibrated then you should not have these limbs on you need to take them off I mean every joint should be turned should be taken off I will just do this one. Because if you haven't calibrated it, the servos could be pointing to any directions. If you have these legs on, it will try to rotate to a 
very hard position and that will break the servo. Right? Just imagine you haven't turned it, haven't uh, calibrated it. You don't know which point this servo is actually pointing to. It could be rotated to any direction. If you have downloaded my newest code and have the remote in your hand, you can press the last, uh, the first button on the last row, and that will bring Nibble to the calibration state. The calibration state or the zero state is defined in this way. You see, all the limbs are forming right angles. You will put it into this configuration or state and install the limbs like this. If the servos are not calibrated, then it may be off by 5 or some small angles. Just find the closest, install it like this. And a better way to do the calibration is to control nibble through this serial port. Because currently nibble is taking this calibration state as a posture, it will try to balance. But if you connect the serial uploader, pay attention to the direction, you will be able to control it through Arduino IDE. Um, I'm recording screen now. So go to the right instinct and upload the code. Open the serial monitor. If this is your first time opening this, you can select yes. But if you have already calibrated the joints, you just pick no. If you have changed the instincts, you should enter yes. And if you have never calibrated the MPU, you need to click yes here. Make nibble flat on the table. Read the instructions on this screen. Just wait patient patiently. It's going to um, calibrate six parameters. That's the three accelerations and the three gyros. Then the program will print out the calibration offsets and save them to the onboard memory. So you don't need to remember these numbers. It's saved automatically. And then we can start to calibrate the joints. Type C in the window and enter. 
now Nibble is entering the calibration state. The good thing is now it's not trying to balance itself. We install the limbs to the zero state like this. Okay. Now you can install the screws to fix them so that they won't fall off during the calibration. these points, the line between them should be forming right angles. We know that if you look at a line from different perspective, then the direction may change. So to help you to avoid that, I'm providing this little tool, the L-shaped tuner. You just put this tuner in front of the legs and use the points to point at the servo's screws to give you a reference. And notice this little window, it should be aligned to the little window on the shank and the edges should be parallel that will tell you you are calibrating it to the right angle. To input the calibration value, you just type C as the starting token and the joint you want to calibrate, for example, the 8. And input the offset you want it to be, for example, negative 5. Okay, so it's rotating. But I know that the correct calibration offset should be 2. So I will type C8 2. And now it's back to the right angle. You need to do this for all the joints, including the pen tilt on the head and the tail. And after all that, you can type S to save your calibration. Otherwise, Nibble won't remember that. You can also type S after you calibrate every joint, just in case that you forget them. Um, now the, all the joints are calibrated. we can upload the main sketch nibble to the board. You can still calibrate the joints with the main sketch of nibble because the servos may have some small shifts over time. Take time. Um, just one note, later on after you understand the code structure, you can change, customize all the skills stored in this instinct.h. And if you have even deeper understanding of the code, you can look at the opencat.h. There are tons of parameters you can mess up with to find the best performance config. Uh, best configuration for the uh, performance. Okay, now I have uploaded Nibble main sketch. And Nibble now is waiting for your comment. You can control it by typing serial commands in the serial monitor, like k seat, that means 
skill sit and type enter evil will be sit and k balance that will bring nibble to balance state notice this jittering of the servo this is quite common in those cheap uh, rc servos because they are using uh, potential meters and uh, you just get what you paid for those good servos each may cost 20 30 dollars or so i'm just trying to make nibble affordable to most people uh, and I will develop some more expensive models with much better servos this year um, and you can let nibble to walk or crawl so like KCR there's a very good command called D just D that means shut down all the servos. It's always safe to press D if you think Nibble is doing some really bad things. And that D is equivalent to the key on this IR uh, remote. If you go to the top section of the main code in Nibble, you will find the key map of the IR remote. It's fully customizable, so you can change the order, anything you want, anything you like. And in my configuration, I'm defining the middle key on the first row to be D. That's the save button. It will shut down all the servos and bring Nibble to rest state. 